So hello everyone, um, this is Sarah Clear from the Rediscovery Centre and we're delighted to be doing this video today. We know with the current um, COVID-19 situation, a lot of people are at home and kind of looking for things to do while also kind of keeping engaged with education, thinking about the curriculum as well. So I've laid out here some ideas of things you can do at home. It not only brings in the idea of art using fabric and fibre and paint and things like that, it's also thinking as well about what we can do for the environment. So in Ireland at the moment, a lot of people being at home, they're generating a lot of waste and I know people are still really engaged with the environment, want to think about what they can do to minimise their waste. So here's a couple of ideas from all waste materials that you might have at home, things that you can do. Um, you can also bring a bit of maths into this as well for the parents by measuring things, looking at different shapes and things. So we'll start down this end down here. So a lot of us at home would have a lot of cardboard that might be left over from cereals or from packaging and things like that. So one idea of what you can do is to, with your parents or guardians, you can cut out the centre of it and make it into a little photo frame. Then you can use waste textiles from home. So it might be things like clean socks that might be a bit too worn or clothes that might be a bit too small. Always remember, ask your parents first before you cut anything up and you can decorate your photo frame to make it look amazing like these examples I have here. Another idea in terms of waste cardboard, you can use toilet rolls. So toilet rolls are safe to use, just wash your hands before and after using them. So you can cut them up into little shapes, so you can create amazing pictures like this one, or there's lots of other ideas that you can do with toilet rolls. The only limit really is your imagination. Uh, this is a great one that we often do during our education workshops in schools. It's using cardboard and some waste textiles. This one here is from our fashion department, where we're all about reusing waste textiles. And you can use it to create some amazing pictures. So here's a couple that we've done before. Again, you can use old buttons. You can use uh, broken zips. You can use kind of anything that you can find at home that's okay to use. Um, another project that we've done, we like to make useful things as well um, from waste materials. So this here is a pencil holder that's made from a tin can. Just make sure you wash it out really, really well. Make sure there's no sharp edges. You can sand them down if you need to. Make sure there's nothing going to be cutting you or anything like that. So this is one that we made from a worn pair of denim jeans and some zips and some buttons. And this one here is made from a yogurt pot. Again, really, really creative, use your imagination, think about measuring it to make sure it fits right. Um, these flowers here are actually made from waste textiles as well. You cut long strips of them, do little zigzags in between them all, and then you can roll them up around a stick and create the most beautiful flowers that you can use to decorate and cheer yourselves up while you're at home. Some of our birds as well are, at this time of year, they're starting to make their own nest. They're starting to think about having, um, having chicks. So one thing that you could do is use an old milk carton. You can cut out the center of it, put a stick through it somewhere for the bird to land on. You can put string through it as well and decorate it as you like. And once it's dry, you can put it out into your garden, put some seeds and nuts and other things that are going to feed the birds while they're in this really busy time of year. As we all know, spring is a great time for uh, animals. We need to look after our biodiversity as well. If you really feel like driving your parents crazy, you could make something like musical instruments. So this here was made from a plastic bottle, nice and decorated. You could use rice inside it or stones and it does make quite a racket, but it can, can be a nice thing to do outside maybe as well. These are toilet rolls that have been decorated and just using a stapler then stapling the top, putting in some stones and you've got your own homemade maracas. Um, when it comes to waste reuse, it doesn't have to be just toilet rolls and cardboard, you can use really anything. So you could use um, old plastic cups, you can use any cardboard you have, newspaper, absolutely anything that you can find, wool and things like that. So this is a little robot and a pirate yar that we've made as well from waste. Another thing that all of us really, really love is to make animals. So a lot of us really like nature and making animals. So here's a couple of ideas and things you can make. 
So we've got a B here that's been made from straws and cardboard and all kind of crafted together. And remember, do a little bit of research on your animal first. Find out what it really looks like. How many legs does it have? How does it stand? So you can make very, very creative ones. Here's a beautiful shark that I absolutely love. This takes quite a bit of crafting and measuring and making sure that it all fits in together. But you can do some really, really creative ideas. And I think my personal favorite is our native red squirrel here. So you can have a look at that one too. If you're a little bit older and you're looking or a little bit more advanced, you might be looking for other ideas and things you can do. Um, so this is a really, really good one. This is using um, Capri Sun packets. You can cut them up, fit them into shape, and you can make your own lunch bag for when we finally get back to normal life, getting back to school and things like that. So this is sewn together using a sewing machine. Um, another one that I've got here is making your own tote bag. So this is actually made from an old, um, the fabric from an old umbrella. So you can cut it out, make it into shape, and then you can decorate it with things like crisp packets, or whatever you've got at home really, whatever you think will work. But again, um, just get your parents to help you when using the sewing machine. Another really nice thing is to make gift bags from newspaper. So this one here is folded up. It's uh, done using two sheets of newspaper to make it nice and strong. And you can put your own string or ribbon as well. And when we finally get back to real life, um, you'll be able to make things like this, give presents to your friends or your teachers or your family and things like that as well. Another great one that you can do, so something for the playroom, is to make something like this. So these are our seats here. These are made from bottle crates. Again, just make sure to clean them really, really well. Um, use some sterilizing fluid if you can. Let it dry completely. And then you can make your own tops for them as well. So this inside here is some timber for rigidity and stability and then we covered it with a little bit of foam covered it with fabric and here we've got some lovely mat symbols because we like to do giant mats here at the rediscovery center and then just make sure that you've got something so the seat the top doesn't slide off too much as well because you don't want any accidents at home that's the last thing we want and this is one of my favorite projects here at the rediscovery center this is our recycling bin, which is actually made from waste plastic bottles. We used a metal, an existing metal frame. We put holes in the tops and the bottoms of all the plastic bottles, threaded through some, um, some wire, and then used it to create a lovely recycle bin. I think it's very obvious what this is when people come into the rediscovery center here as well. So you can make your own version of this using whatever you like. Um, another thing you can do at home is to make posters and try and educate people at home about what stuff should go into which bin at home. A great resource to use is myways.ie so you can look up, make sure you've got all the right information, then um, you could give it to friends or family um, when you see them in a couple of weeks as well. So that, that's just a few little ideas of things you can do at home, looking after the environment, looking after yourselves and getting creative. So go have fun and enjoy and there'll be more vid videos on the Rediscovery Centre website and on our social media as well if you'd like to, to um, have a look at those. Thank you.